Jai Mata Di. This is Chief Engineer Pranit Mehta in front of you guys. Well, another guy, another interview. Well, this time it's going to be different. I have got Avimanyu Bhattacharya from Kolkata with me. The guy that you can see with me on screen over here, he has sailed with me for the for six and a half months on my last vessel. He was there with me as a trainee marine engineer, got promoted to junior engineer over there. And out here in this video, I am not going to disclose the company that he's sailing with or I am sailing with because we are not here to discuss the company. We are here to dis decode Merchant Navy. We are here to decode Merchant Navy. I repeat that Merchant Navy decoded, right? So let's start with that. Abhimanyu, how are you? First of all, I'm great, sir. Okay, fine. So Abhimanyu, let me start with this thing. So pehle ye batao yar, how were your last six and a half months with me? Not just with me. How many months did you do on your last ship? Uh, I did. I joined on December 20th and I signed off on August 14th. So I guess eight months, nearly eight months. So you did eight months on board ship. So how was it on board ship? Was it after when you signed off from ship? How did you feel? You feel like relieved? Oh God, Jan me Jan a gayi or it was like normal thing? Not, not really because as far as uh, my experience goes, it was quite nice. As as in for eight, most of the time it was quite a smooth contract for me. So I'd say I wasn't relieved as when I was obviously I was relieved when I was signing off, but it was a good experience. I'd say it wasn't. Or uh, something harrowing, or something I would not look back to, or something I got to learn a lot from. So it's a good experience, I'd say. Okay, chalo, Vimanyu, let's get to the basics. Tell me something about your uh, city, or something about you, your uh, life before joining your GME college. All right, so I was born in Kolkata and brought up at various places across the country. I've changed many schools, and. Uh, since belonging to a normal middle class family, all like before 12th, I had the aspiration to be get into IITs and do something related to engineering and all that, those common fields. So I was really interested in automobile. So automobiles, cars, etc. So I thought I would pursue with mechanical engineering after my 12th. So due to my uh, say average results in 12th and entrance tests, I got into a private college that is uh, Manipal Institute of Technology with my branch, Mechanical Engineering. And uh, due to my average results in the college, I couldn't get a placement in the main main company. So I was working uh, like part time in Bosch for six months. Well, when due to my uh, in my college, Anglo uh, sorry, uh, okay. shipping company had come. A shipping okay. company had come and I had no idea about this shipping career at all. Apart from the fact that whenever I was tenant, like I we used to we shifted a lot of cities. So we used to stay in rented houses. So more than once, I'd say about three to four of our landlords were mariners. They were ex uh, captains or chief engineers. And I my only exposure to this shipping industry was through them. And I used to see these people who were who had so many properties, old, well established. You know, and I saw that these people, wow, they are quite well established. I mean, that's that was my only exposure to this marine field. I had no idea how to get into it, and I had no idea that I could be one of them one day. I had, like not even in my wildest dreams that I thought that I myself could be sailing on a ship because I didn't know how to approach it or what to do or whatever. So. One fine day, I'm working, I'm in Pune, I'm doing my job in Bosch, and suddenly there's this mail comes from my college. The so and so shipping company has come, and you are eligible to give the online test, so and so. And they had their own lucrative profile because all these shipping companies, they have a very, when, they're, when they show what career prospects they have, they exaggerated a bit, like extremely well salary, and you get to roam the world. This, that, that attracted me. So, uh, I sat for the interview. I know first I gave the entrance test. It was an online MCQ. So I it was pretty easy. Got through that. Then came the interview part. So and at that point I was giving uh, uh, that was my final semester in my college. So I was giving a lot of college placement interviews. So I was already in that loop of constantly giving interviews. So I did not strategize or uh, study for this separately per se because I was already studying for all the separate interviews so i just gave the interview but basic i had uh, knowledge of i just 
revised my concept for IC engines while planning RSC, so and so thermodynamics. And I just gave, my, gave the interview without much preparation, I'd say. And due to God's grace or whatever first impression, I got through. And then the rest is history. Okay. Not naming your college, not naming your college which you entered. How was your college life over there compared to your college life for four years in Manipal? You stayed around eight months or a year in a GME related college, right? How was your life over there? What was the difference you could see? Eight months. Yeah. So I'd say that it's a stepping stone. Like what, what the kind of freedoms I enjoyed in my college, they were like here. And then in my training institute, the freedoms were a bit taken away from me, which was good keeping the career in mind. So that was like here and on board ship, it was a bit more step, another step further. So I'd say it is quite a well-balanced intermediate step that uh, cadet uh, training, pre-C training, which I had to go through. It's a quite well thought out intermediate step between, you know, full on college life and working on a ship. It's a good stepping stone. Okay. So when you talk about restrictions and you said that, uh, shipping when you went on ship it was a notch higher why did you feel so maybe it was because of coronavirus pandemic itself because you could not go out uh, not even once i you know you went i think once or twice right i went twice three times no no uh, twice surely and which, the rest was fine place, on which places did you visit i during? i to visit amsterdam as well as Narvik and both of them are honeymoon. Both of them are very touristy spaces. Is it ports which are very industrial and not very touristy? But luckily, my first soul leave was in Amsterdam, and that too was during Christmas Eve. So it was like wow, a lot of people had spent a lot of money to just to be there, and I was there. Was like, free of cost, free of cost. It was a nice experience. Rather earning money. Course, yeah, that, <laughs> rather, earning. rather earning money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, I want to know one thing from you is. That uh, when I particularly talk about again your college life, like uh, let's talk a bit more about restrictions. Like, was there a fixed schedule that you have to get up morning? Can you just discuss a routine, a bit of a college routine? There are so many people who are going to view this video and they are GME aspirants. Like, what can they assume their life at college be? Just a brief description. Uh, 